Hello everyone, welcome back to Leif Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where we are going to try to add something to our station. We've already got the space plane on its way, and we are going to try to have a fuel module for our station, I think. And we might as well go with the really big spherical hydrogen tank. Is that a good thing to put to the station onto the station? Actually, let's take a look at the station to figure out where on earth where where not on earth, where around Leif we are going to put that onto the station. Please be intact. <laughs> oh the heart attacks. Okay. Uh, why don't we have it over here counterbalancing that module? We should probably have something there. Let's have a reaction wheel and the control core up there. We will have a fairly large mob propellant tank. But should we just put this one too? <laughs> Wait, this one this one is radial attach. That sucks. It should be able to inline attach as well. Let's just have a lot of little mob propellant tanks as part of the refueling thing. And what we're going to do is we'll have the nukes around it. And that will allow us to put another docking port on the side of it. Mm, I want a structural part. These. Do we need two nukes or four nukes? Okay, how long is the burn time there? 40 how many minutes? The font though. <laughs> the fonts leave a lot to be dis but it's not going to use all of it. So that's okay, I guess. 85 tons so far. 24 minutes of burn time like this. But again, we're not going to use the fuel. It's supposed to deliver the fuel. Maybe we should also, along with it, send a tug for our little space plane in case it... Nah, it probably doesn't need it. It's fine. We get that idea. Now that we've put four here, I don't know where to put the solar panels. Maybe I should just have a big RTG. No, <laughs> I mean, we do have those. A little bit of battery power is good. Nah, I mean, I, I need a place to put solar panels and stuff. So we'll just go with two. All right, no, that could be worse. All right. Okay, so that brings this to 80 tons. It's an 80 ton tank with torturous burn times, but we're going to have another stage actually deliver it into its trajectory to Jewel, at least. So that shouldn't be too bad. Our best fairing is a large fairing. This is gonna be awkward. Okay, well, that's the package. 88 tons. What's the best, nicest looking stage that we can come up with for this? I think we should do a Saturn 1 motif. Okay, so this tuba stage gets a lot of delta V, but should it? Should we do that? It seems like it's 47 minutes long. Even Rhino has a long burn time like this. Well, okay, this is gonna be ugly. <laughs> These will just have to be boosters. Okay, so... Rhino's not that bad. Well, but it doesn't fit like that. So I guess we'll just go with mainsails. <laughs> well, we don't have a budget. It's... it's a unit. I mean, anything with that big spherical hydrogen tank is going to look sort of like this, right? I don't know if I need struts between the boosters and the core, but we're going to find out when we bring it out there. Does the big fairing mean that I really need fins down there? That's something else that I'm wondering that we will figure out on the fly. So yes, once we have the big spherical hydrogen tank in here, it does get to be a little bit unwieldy. The sphere. 
Well, not, not, not the like that. The sphere. Okay. One. Maybe we'll have more spheres. That is reading less delta V than it was just a second ago. <laughs> um, okay. We'll still try this, but I'm now more worried. Well, it's a little bit dark around, but we'll just go with it. Um, oh wait, the Cypertrons are firing. No, 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 no. Alright. Well, let's try this again. I might need fins. Oh, I'm turning way too fast. All right, we are past the speed of sound, so it's good, maybe? Is it a good rocket because we're past the speed of sound and max Q? Got a little overheating indicator on the fairing base, maybe? Uh oh. No, come on. No, 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 no. I wanted to. No. Ah. Ah. It was the. F it was the fairing itself overheated. The fairing itself overheated. Um. Okay. We'll try to go steeper. Just ridiculous. Get get good rockets these days. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. Again, again. Okay, we are past the speed of sound again. Alright, we went higher this time. Not the most efficient thing to do. Fairing separation, maybe? Ooh, 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 ooh. Can't decide exactly what it's gonna collide against? I mean, this is confusing. Got an interesting collider, that thing. Okay, let's just coast. Okay, we are in orbit. We've got 1,500 in this stage, and then hopefully the nukes can carry us the rest of the way without too much pain and suffering. Which... where's your orbit? <laughs> Wait, where's... where's this thing's orbit? That's not this thing's orbit. I can't... Mm, I can't see my orbit. Okay, let me save the game. Hold on, let me go into this view and save the game. Maybe I should F5 and F9 too, but let's... Yeah, let me save and then F5 and F9. Yeah. What is this magic of F5 and F9? No! F5 and F9 has betrayed me! It still doesn't show my orbit. Alright, we're going to have to quit and enter. Nope, we don't have an orbit. Okay. Right. Hmm. So... Let me go to a different craft and come back. Come, come back to it. Maybe. I don't know what to do about that. Let's go to this one. Do you have an orbit? Yeah, you have an orbit. Oh, that was a thunk. Okay. Do you have an orbit now? No, you don't have an orbit now. It says per- oh, 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 it says periapsis is- it's not in orbit. It's- it's going down. It's going down! No, Why? 
Hold on, let's go back to this one. Let me just see. If I time warp here, is it gonna crash into the surface right now? No. No, it's going back up. Okay. Wait, wait, let's see about this sphere. Auto save. Okay, we're in the middle of burning for orbit. They saved it right there for some reason. Okay, see? We made orbit. No orbit line! We are going to go prograde. And we're gonna keep burning. Go. We're gonna go on escape. It has to recognize my orbit line if I go on escape, right? Right? There was uh, there was a, something like this before, I remember. It wasn't around Kerbin though. But yeah, so this didn't... That when I did... I, I played the same ploy. I think it was around Ike. Didn't launch properly. I launched properly. It didn't recognize my launch properly. Change this craft to be not landed but in flight in the quick save? Uh, okay, uh, F5-ing. I'm going to the main menu. Okay, uh, I guess we'll f try and fix it like that. So trying to fix this problem. It's probably the thing at the bottom. No, everything has sphere in. <laughs> everything says sphere. Sphere is a horrible name for something. Okay, wait. Assembly name... So we want situation, huh? Situation landed. Okay, well, let's hope. Orbiting. Okay. I have edited the JSON file. Okay, well, I mean, speed-wise, we're in the same situation. We seem to have a line. Okay. Well, let's just stage. Alright, well, uh, problem solved, I guess, but, um, tentatively. But it's caused us some extra problems because we don't have a clean approach to Jewel, but Jewel, Jewel's forgiving. I think. Yes, Jewel? <laughs> right? Right. Okay, that's about a minimum. Alright, let's do that part. Oh, let's just go. Well, it looks like it's getting to the end there. How are we doing? Well, it's pretty close. Let's get the mid-course correction. Oh, there's the Leith encounter. That's still not capturing. Ah, uh, Leith is not really helping in this situation. Let's just skip it. Okay, so that's the mid-course correction for this. So this is first. We'll do the space plane first. Is there a Kerbal on here? Yes, there is. Neil done. No, well, probably close enough for this. Oh, but it's not going to keep track of it. Oh, there's a leaf periapsis there. But that's not gonna work out for us. Okay, that's... Ah, I went too far. Let's go the other way. I don't want it to be in this position when we get there. It's still a minor miracle I haven't clicked destroy yet on any vessel. Ah, I got worse. But okay, fine. We'll wait until we get there to figure that out. It's on its way to Jewel. 
and we'll focus on the other thing now. Get it on its way. This has 971, uh, 72 left to work with. This has more. Lots more. I'll take that. All right, 429 kilometers there. And let's see. The space plane is probably arriving first. So back to the space plane. The It's a Base 3. But they're pretty close together here. Uh, it's losing power. And it actually needs to get its solar panels out. Yeah, that other mission is going to come in soon, uh, but we should correct the periapsis here. The other one doesn't need a correction on entering Jewel SOI though, so there's that. We can capture this first and then turn to that. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, we're both, we're both now in Jewel SOI. There's Jewel again. It's not treated us too badly. Well, any capture will do. We will figure it out later. 66 days. Let's try for 30 days. Okay, well, I don't want to take too much fuel. 753 we have in order to get to Lathe. That's nicer. But that doesn't have a tangency point at Lathe anymore. Uh, it's probably not good. We should just wait until we've got a nice encounter point over here. We can potentially aero capture around Lathe if we're not going too fast. The question is whether we would be going too fast if we were in that situation or not. We could be going too fast. Is it a good idea to push things? We'll decide that in 38 days. Well, but I think that thing is going to take more than 38 days to come in. Let's check. 33 days. Okay, so we do this first. Are we going in the wrong direction? Oh, please tell me we're not going in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. We're definitely going in the wrong direction. No, I need, an, I need a maneuver right now. Well, it's not costing that much. Would, co would have costed less if we had done it when we entered Jules SOI, though. Okay, 250 is fine. And yes, it should be before we need to pay attention to the... It's a base, so let's proceed to Periapsis. Near disaster there. Capturing the wrong way around would have been tough. I feel like the KSB2 music has been super subdued today. Well, there's Lathe. Okay, here we go to capture. Okay, the apoapsis is no longer indicating because the numbers are weird. Okay, and that's that for this one sort of at the same height, but it's at its periapsis, the it's a base is at its apoapsis or close to it, and we'll figure out what to do with them next time I think. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.